Hey, I'm Emmett, and today I'm meeting Blake McCoskey. Blake is the founder and chief shoe giver of Tom's Shoes, where they have a one-for-one -one policy, which means every time you buy a pair of shoes, a child in need gets one as well. I'm here at the headquarters in Los Angeles, so let's go meet him. So, hi, my name is Emmett. I'm Blake. It's really nice to meet you, Blake. Nice to meet you, Emmett. So, could you tell me a little bit about who you are and what you do? Well, um, as you know, my name is Blake. Uh, my title is the chief shoe giver. Uh, because I started a company called Tom's uh, with a very simple idea. Um, I saw many children who didn't have shoes and needed shoes to go to school and to protect their feet and I wanted to help them. But instead of starting a charity, I started a business where every time we sell a pair of shoes, we give a pair to a child who needs a pair. And we call it One for One and uh, we've been doing it for about 10 years now. And through the people wearing it, who decides which individual kid or person gets the, the shoe in each country? So here at the Tom's headquarters where we are today, uh, we have lots of different uh, departments. So we have a design department, we have a finance department, we have you know, all these different departments that are typically in any major business you would visit for the day. But we also have a department that is not in any typical businesses, and that's the giving department. They're determining who are going to be the recipients of the shoes, um, or the eyesight surgeries, or the safe birth kits, or the clean water, all the things that we do now. So switching over to a little bit of a different topic, sure. where did the design for the Tom shoe come from? Great, really good question as well. So without any experience in shoes or fashion, and really wanting to help these kids get shoes, I just looked around and, and tried to find a shoe that already existed that just hadn't been uh, populated really in the United States and around the world. And so the original shoe was inspired from a shoe in Argentina called the Alpregata. It had been used by farmers and people on, 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 on the polo fields and around town for a long time. Uh, it was a very simple shoe, and so I just took their design and improved it. I made the sole more durable, I made the, you know, the patterns, the, the fabrics more comfortable and fashionable, but the general basis of the design came from the Alpregata. Where does Tom's, the name and the brand, come from? So when I started the company and had the idea, uh, my idea was if we sell a pair of shoes today, we'll give away a pair of shoes tomorrow. And we originally called them for the first couple weeks, Tomorrow's Shoes. But Tomorrow's was too long of a name to put on the tag that went on the back of the shoe. So we shortened Tomorrow's to Tom's. And people have called me Tom ever since. <laughs> and we have a funny joke around the office that we, everyone here that works here is Tom, because we're all working for a better tomorrow. And what made you want to do go into entrepreneurial uh, the business side of things. When I was 19, I had an injury uh, to my foot. And I was, at that time, I wanted to be a professional tennis player. That's all I wanted to be. And then I had an injury which seemed like a big setback because I wasn't able to play for like six or eight months. During that time, I was on crutches. And because I was on crutches, it was very hard to take my laundry to the laundry facility in the dorm because you can't carry your laundry and your crutches at the same time. So I was looking in the yellow pages, which is something you probably have never seen before. <laughs> have you ever seen I it? Have, you I have. have. Okay, yes. amazing. So I was looking in the yellow pages, you know, flipping through there, trying to find uh, a company that would pick up and deliver my laundry. And there wasn't uh, a company like that. So I thought, uh, with my friend, you know, there should be someone that would do this. And my friend's dad was, quote, an entrepreneur. He started businesses. I didn't know it was called an entrepreneur. But uh, we talked to him and he helped us kind of come up with this idea of how we could do a pickup and delivery laundry service. And so we did, and that became our first business. And then after we started that business, when I was 19, people started calling me an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. And that's when I kind of understood what this idea was of taking an idea, creating a business around it, and building it. And so, um, so I became an entrepreneur. I don't think I set out to be one. So what's your advice to kids? Be your own self. Don't try to be the next version of your mom or your dad or your older brother or your older sister. Like embrace the differences that you have because that's what's gonna make you special and that's what's gonna give you a really fulfilling life. Thank you and it was really nice meeting you. Really nice meeting you too and I will say that like I've done a lot of interviews um, with people much, much older than you and uh, this is one of the best interviews I've had in Thank a long you. time. So Thank I really you. enjoyed it and keep asking all these great questions. Thank you. Okay. I just finished meeting with Blake and I really enjoyed learning all about Tom's and how it was created. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.